Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here at the first news conference concerning Triumph, the arrest of Triumph, the insult dog, and his seven accomplices. Uh, my name is Sergeant Duke. Uh, I'm with the federal police, and I've been put in charge of this. And this is the first of many news conferences about the perpetrators of the June 16th break-in at the Capitol. So we are here for the first time. I want to thank everybody. There's a really good turnout. Uh, <coughs> it seems uh, there's everybody here. Uh, Capitol Hill police are here, of course, with me. Thank you to the deputies. Thank you to the chief. Thank you to all the officials who, uh, and to the President of the United States for making this special appointment of my office, which uh, I've been given uh, every limited, unlimited power to investigate this to the fullest on behalf of the people of the United States. So uh, let us recap. Uh, we have here a photograph of the perpetrator, uh, Triumph. And he, we have his police record here. His, uh, his, we're really going with Stephen Colbert as the real mo brains behind this. I know there's a man who uses his arm and says, hey, that's my puppet. No, no, we're really, we're kicking Stephen Colbert to the curb here today. We're sticking, we, we, make, we know what's going on around here, all right? So anyway, what happened, let me give a recap here. This leftist anti-Trump trickster, aided by seven humans, okay? These seven humans are hiding behind a dog puppet and broke into Congress more than once and got arrested on their second attempt at domestic terrorism disguised as self-described comedy. What? A, that's another crime we're going to add here. The puppet is better off in the evidence room right now and we're going to be holding him and his seven elite top employees for 18 months before being charged. Just like Nancy Pelosi keeps the January 6th detainees for 18 months. Now, you say why? Well, because if we treat them any differently, the defense cases, the defense attorneys in the current cases which are being prosecuted will use what we call and what we're afraid will be used, the triumph the insult dog comedy defense. We don't want that. So uh, once we figure out the charge, we already have them charged with unlawful entry, and that was good to begin with. But this is an active criminal investigation, and that's from official sources, and you can quote me also. This may result in additional criminal charges after consultation with the U.S. Attorney. Now, there are plenty of other people who were victims here, and we want to make sure that full and fair treatment is given the seven humans as well as the people behind this entire assault on the Capitol. Remember, we have security issues here, and they violated as many issues as possible. We're not just talking about unlawful entry, but we're talking about a whole bunch of other charges based on details as they are being investigated. Now, we assume they will have a proper defense, and we assume that these in investigation is ongoing, and we assume absolutely, no matter how big a dirt bag this dog is, and he's given us a bad name, the rest of us puppet dogs, we have, been, have a good reputation until he came along smoking his cigar and spitting in the faces of innocent victims for years. Well, that reign of terror is over, and he calls it funny. Well, that right there is a crime. So we're going to assume his innocence, but in the meantime, these are all allegations that will be fully investigated, and he will be held until we figure out all the charges. That's right. We're going to apply the same standard we apply to the January 6th detainees. Uh, this dog is going, uh, going to be out of out of work, out of work for a while, while we detain him and all his human accomplices, and we will investigate everyone that needs to be investigated and we will hold them until their trial without bail just like the other detainees presently in the dc jail so uh, i see a question there what's the question ma'am uh, sergeant duke on um, what is your comment on the other six human accomplices was it six or seven eight ten how many other human accomplices were there what's your
your comment? Well, as I said, we think Stephen Colbert is the brains behind this, and he's always have a reputation for violating all sorts of decorum. But this time, oh, he crossed the line with this one, and we're going to throw the book at him, too. He has to be brought in, and he has to tell us everything, and everybody associated with him in the Congress, like Adam Schiff, all these people who conspired to terrorize and break in and make a mockery of the security of the Congress of the United States. So we all, we got rid of him, we got him out, but then he came back. And he came back and made it look like it was a little middle of the night attack. So we're going to make sure we get all the facts right, get all the witnesses' statements, and this is a pro ongoing process. But Colbert, Adam Schiff, they're all part of this active investigation. I, I think that's enough for now. Uh, thank you for today, and we'll be back here tomorrow.